Okay, so Hannah, you're not doing the S Club um, 7 tour. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Oh God, it wasn't a decision that I took lightly, obviously. There were so many things going on in my own life. My littlest daughter had mm. suffered a really, really bad injury, so we were dealing with that. That was obviously taking mm. precedent. And then the prospect of S Club 7 getting back together was sort of like in the background, and I was sort of thinking, oh yeah, that could be a fun, mm. but you know, Obviously, my daughter is the most important thing. But anyway, yeah, we did we did get to a point of you know moving forwards, and it was all looking quite exciting. Mm. But yeah, there was just a few things that weren't sort of coming together right, and obviously then you know life threw us a massive massive curveball with full yeah. passing. So. And there's a section in the book where you reveal that in 2021 mm. you received a disturbing email from mm -hmm. Paul. And then when you heard that he'd passed, your initial yeah. thoughts was, oh my goodness, he's, he's killed himself and I'm to blame. Yeah, it, it, when I heard he passed, the mediation meeting that, that we had, had been leaked to the media, I think it was like three days before. Um, and that was meant to be kept mm. private. So I was very, very concerned mm. that he believed the details of that email, which I will never ever mm. disclose to anybody until the day I die. Yeah. I was concerned that he thought that that had been leaked mm. and gotten out there and maybe he had found that too much to bear the thought of that being out in the public eye. You reveal that you actually had no intention of going to the, S the audition for S Club mm -hmm. 7. It was your mate Sheridan Smith, mm -hmm. um, who had, who, whose mum had spotted the audition in the stage newspaper. Mm -hmm. And you kind of went along to um, keep her company. Yep. And it was you that got, uh, got <laughs> put forward to the second stage. And S Club 7 bosses sent Sheridan Smith away before even hearing her sing. Oh, they did. It was quite brutal, actually, the audition process. Mm. I mean, let's get this straight. Mm. She didn't really go along to get in the band either. We were in London and we were working Monday to Saturday. Mm. Uh, we had Sundays off and we couldn't really, I don't know, it seemed like a fun yeah. thing to do. And, um, yeah, we got dressed up and we had our new buffaloes and, you know, we were getting, we were working in the West End and we were yeah. living a fun, fun existence and yeah, we went along to the audition and yeah, she just, it was brutal. We'd go into the room and they would just get us to do like four dance moves yeah. or whatever and then they'd just cut the room in half and then tell them to go and she was in that group and I was like, oh, no! And she was like, stay, 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 stay. I was like, oh. and then I, I didn't stay. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then I got to sing a little bit yeah. of uh, Pocahontas. And yeah, for some reason, ended up getting through. Yeah, and yeah. nobody heard her sing on that day. I know, I know, see? They missed out there. Yeah, they, they did. did. They really did. Yeah. And just take me back as well, because you were living with um, Sheridan, mm -hmm. and you know, it must have been wild times back in the day. Wild is exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, a good word for it. We, you know, we, we had a blast. I mean, I was extremely lucky to be, um, working like just in like London was just such mm. a special because I wasn't from London and a lot of the people that were doing Bugsy Malone were all from different areas mm. of the country and so London was always a magical place for me growing up and mm. you know coming to London with my mum and yeah so to be kind of like living with friends working in the West End mm. it was just it was just mm. magical it was mm. yeah great time of life. There's one other little story that I remembered from the book which mm. had me howling. <laughs> so it's the early days of S Club. Yeah. You're staying at Dave Stewart and Annie Lennox's oh, house. Oh no. Okay. And you and Paul decide oh, no. to sneak off, have a little rummage round Dave Stewart and Annie Lennox's house, and mm. you steal his motorbike, which you then crash. So naughty. <laughs> we went and in the garage there wasn't just one. There was a there was quite a few motorbikes. There was about ten mm. motorbikes, and then like ten go karts as well. Probably should have taken the go kart. <laughs> um, but yeah, really naughty. Took a motorbike. Yeah, and that was quite and early on. That, and I remember oh, thinking I know. that they were like, you know, they could have they could have got rid of you, couldn't they? Yeah, they did say we are. Um, we are taking time to think about what we are going to do about yeah 
whether, yeah, whether you two will you stay in the band, but then we got separated and we weren't allowed to spend time together. Oh my God. We weren't allowed in the same lift together because oh we were a bad influence on each other. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think yeah. Annie and Dave ever found out that you crashed their Well, they bike? will now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Brilliant.